Oh, how did I do this before? What was it? Oh. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and now we're starting. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and pop that. <laughs> 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 or it's either that or it's boom. <laughs> Get we'll this, get we'll this find guy out. Off the stage. I can't wait to hear. It. We'll uh, find out because that's no. definitely making it. But uh, welcome to the Road Student Podcast. We're so excited you're here to join us again. Hello. My name's Elijah. I'm the student pastor here at Choctaw Road Baptist Church. Uh, and I've got with me Briar Eaton. He Hello. is our middle school uh, associate. And yeah, remember our goal is for uh, those who are listening and more particularly our, our students to yeah. uh, just hear a little bit more about what we talked about Wednesday night and uh, just be able to use this as a tool to engage with their friends and uh, and their family members. So, yeah. uh, Briar, last night was good. We had a really good yeah, crowd. It was a big crowd. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. 125 middle schoolers. Yeah, that was, that was great. It was, uh, a, it it was a mosh was, pit for Jesus. I, I looked over there and it was just it was insane looking. But, yeah. <laughs> um, it was, so, it was uh, fun to preach for. Oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so kind of give us a, a recap of last night, what you talked about and so, uh, all that. So last night we went through uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verses 24 through 27, and it mainly try, <laughs> trying to get a drink That's around the, on, around the mic. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I kept mine on the outside. Uh, but we talked about Proverbs chapter 4, verses 24 through 27, and mainly just talking about our character and mm -hmm. how... Uh, our character matters, um, not necessarily just like for ourselves, but also because if we claim to follow God, like if we don't have a good character, then that means we're putting a bad character and a bad image towards God mm -hmm. for non-believers and okay. stuff like that. So it was mainly just a good, uh, not only a good reminder, but for some people, it might have been the first time that they understood that their character does matter, not just to themselves, but for the people around them as well. Yeah, and... uh and I find it funny. We we kind of talked something similar. I, I taught the high school that night, and um, we talked about what you know what it means to be a good person. Mm -hmm. And I I started off the night with like, yeah. look, I'm not telling you you have to be a good person to be yeah. a Christian because that's mm -hmm. not what the Bible teaches. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and being a good person doesn't make you a Christian, yeah. right? <laughs> and so, uh, but it's still important for us to be a good person because uh, mm -hmm. Jesus says in Matthew five sixteen that we are the light of the world. Yeah. And so to let our light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. So like what you're saying, our character matters because uh, when people see us, we claim to yeah. uh, to be a Christian, then and we are doing good works or we have good character, whether it be in school, at work, or mm -hmm. wherever we're at, yeah. we're, we're shining that light so that other people can see God, it's not. It's not. Yeah. We're not doing yeah. these things for our own recognition. Yeah, we're not trying to look cool. Yeah, even though some of us try to. But <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so that God is recognized before yeah. men. So yeah, well, I good. mean, especially like in the early. I feel like especially for middle school. I mean, obviously high school as well. The whole church, like we're talking about spiritual maturity. Mm -hmm. um, like I even, I'll, I'll talk about it here in a second. But like even t I touch up on how like I got saved in sixth grade. But then seventh grade, even though I may not have had a deep relationship with God, mm -hmm. I still claimed to be a Christian. So therefore, even though I didn't have a deep relationship, I still could put a bad image on God just because I say, hey, I'm a Christian. I follow Jesus. But if I'm not showing those characteristics, then it can be bad. So I feel like we all like... I mean, I feel like you even have some stories probably of oh, yeah. your young Christianity. Oh, I yeah. Say. I mean, I, I grew <laughs> I up mean, in the church. Everybody's got something. Yeah, I grew up in the church, but that mm -hmm. didn't mean nothing. Yeah. Um, and I talked a little bit about this last night of like, you know, I had, you know, I had Elijah in school, I had mm -hmm. Elijah in church, I had Elijah at home. And so, yeah. you know, it it varied depending on who I was around. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, uh, when I first became a Christian, like, it wasn't like, Boom! Elijah's yeah. no longer cussing <laughs> and, and all this oh, other stuff, yeah, right? No, um, it it takes some maturity, yeah, and, and that comes with having a uh, good character and, mm -hmm. and living by certain virtues. Yeah. Um. So how about how about we start off with uh you know what uh what were kind of like your points? Uh, I mean, let's yeah. let's break down that. Yeah. Was that Proverbs what? 
Proverbs uh, chapter 4, verses 24 through 27. Okay. And uh, I'll just read it because yeah, it's read four it verses, quick. you know. I'm not reading the whole book of, you know, Luke chapter 8 yeah. or something <laughs> like that. But um, so it says, uh, Put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet, uh, then all your ways will be sure. And then the last verse says, Do not swerve to the right or to the left, but turn your foot away from evil. Um, and so really my main basis is, uh, I broke down verse 24 and 25 mm-hmm. into two separate points. And then I made 26 and 27 a point, mm-hmm. um, kind of directing us just away from sin kind of thing. But, um, my first point was, um, honestly, like, and a lot of the middle schoolers, like, I feel like some people hear this and they're like, huh, <laughs> but, uh, I, it's basically just watch your mouth. Right. Yeah. Um, not necessarily just about the words you say, but also about what comes out of your mouth. Yeah, the and, content too. Uh, right? Yeah. And the way I liked uh, I put it was, let's see if I can flip to it. Um, I made sure to put right, oh, right here. Um, the way I worded it, and I think it was best, I got this out of my study Bible, but it says, um, it's not just crooked speech as far as do not cuss, but if your words are not used with the proper content, context, and purpose, you are not using them to affect God's kingdom. Yeah, I think that's so um, important because yeah. uh, some people will... Uh, justify some of the music or some mm-hmm. of the stuff they watch because oh well it doesn't you know it doesn't have yeah. cuss words in it but yeah. man uh what they're talking about i know yeah come <laughs> on now come on but, yeah so yeah. i mean i i use that and the example i use like i was talking about in my young uh spiritual growth or whatever was uh the summer before seventh grade i was technically still a sixth grader that's whenever i would say i walked an aisle and i checked a box mm-hmm. right that's when i say i met jesus i don't think i gave my life to him yet but to everybody else, I checked a box, right? I said mm-hmm. I was saved, and I did all these things. And the story I kind of shared with them was, uh, I mean, a lot of the listeners that were there last night, they would, they'll would they know this story pretty well. But basically, I took somebody else's project at school, mm-hmm. and I just wrote my name on it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, it's mine, right? And even though I didn't say any bad words, and I didn't know whose project it was, so in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm not hurting any feelings because I don't know the person. Mm-hmm. It still made a big impact, not only on me, because I was sitting here talking about how good of a liar I was. Lying. I know, lies. <laughs> you sit on a throne of lies, right? <laughs> uh, but it, not only me sitting here, t- like, kind of boasting in my sin, saying like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm such a good liar and all this stuff. But um, after about like a month and a half, I started telling all my friends like, guys, I lied about this and I was so good at it. And then I got called to that teacher's classroom. And I remember just sitting down and there was a random kid that I had no idea who they were. Like never met them in my life. Didn't have a class with them. I was like, who are you? And I found out it was his project. Mm-hmm. And uh, my teacher, he made me sit there and look at him and tell him that I took his project. And then yeah, he then wrote a note to my parents, and my parents had to sign off on it kind of thing. And um, so then I got grounded for a little bit. But the way I made sure to put it was even though I may not have said anything mean to the kid or done anything mean uh, as far as like not knowing him, I was like, oh, I don't know him. I'm not being mean. My actions of what came out of my mouth, right, Mm -hmm. saying all those lies, that hurt the image of me saying, oh, yeah, I'm saved. I got saved this summer and everything. If I was the first interaction that kid had with a Christian – I can't imagine what would go on uh, for the rest of his life after that. Because for me, it'd be hard to trust a bunch of Christians after the first one I meet is somebody who lied to me and did all these other things. Well, and I think that's why we see uh, a lot of people have this uh, idea of of what a Christian is. You know, they're hypocritical and they're controlling or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, Because we we don't live the way that we're supposed to. Oh, yeah. we're not perfect by any means. Mm-hmm. Like it, we, we won't be perfect, right? No. Until we're standing in front of, of Jesus in, uh, in heaven. Yeah. And uh, but uh, we've got to. That's why we've got to continue to work, and we and we got to be humble mm-hmm. uh, when we do mess up, and yeah. we've got to acknowledge that and and show like, hey, you know, I'm not. I I don't think this is right, mm-hmm. and I, I'm working on doing better. I'm working yeah. on um, not committing that sin. Um, I think that speaks volumes to people mm-hmm. because uh, most people in life they just kind of shrug it off like eh, whatever, yeah, um, and yeah they don't really take a second look at it I yeah. guess. Well, for yeah. me, like even though I got in trouble, like from my teacher, from my parents, like got grounded, no video games, no phone, no nothing for a month straight from my parents and all that. Even though I got in trouble, what's crazy is I still didn't even feel remorse for it, mm. right? I was so young in my spiritual maturity that I didn't care. I was like, dang it, didn't I got recognize. caught. I'll have to, I was like, man, I'll have to think of a better way to lie about that next time. <laughs> right? Like, I, I, at that time in my life, I didn't care. And it wasn't honestly until my sophomore year of high school that I got called to ministry mm-hmm. where I finally was like, 
look at all these things that I've done that I just had no remorse mm-hmm. for. Um, yeah, and so I mean, it's all about like, even my second point, actually, my second point was uh, like, first one, watch your mouth. My second point was keep your eyes on the prize, mm-hmm. right? Um, and it talks about like how in verse 25, it says, uh, let your eyes look directly forward. I bring up how, you know, Peter walked on water and he was looking right at Jesus. His focus was on Jesus. But as soon as he lost that focus, that's whenever he began to sink. And so I think for me in my young spiritual walk, I think that's what started to sink me was I stumbled once, right? Mm-hmm. Not even knowing it was a stumble, but the more and more I got around sin, the easier it was for me to fall into it. And so, um, I mean, if you're not staying on that path, I mean, it gets, life gets tough. Like it, it gets tough to stay around the path of Jesus whenever you're sitting here just falling into sin over and over and over, even if it's subconsciously, like not even making a decision. It's just, oh, fell into it. Well, it's life, you know? Um, some people just don't really think about what the path is that God has for us. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to pull. No, you're good. I'm trying to pull up that. that I mean, verse. if I bore you, it's it? all right. Proverbs Just four, what? Uh, Proverbs chapter four, uh, verses twenty six or twenty four through twenty seven. Oh, that's what I thought. Twenty four. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, I think you're right. And what I what I'm liking uh, with this verse is, you know, our character has more to, to do than just what we do, mm-hmm. and that's that, that yeah. leads into yep. your last one. But I mean, yep. you've got you know mm-hmm. what you say, you know mm-hmm. that that matters. Yeah, um, our words have power. Yeah, um, there's life and death in the tongue, right? Mm-hmm. The, the Bible uh, teaches that, and so and then yeah, let your eyes look directly in front of you. Mm-hmm. You know, we shouldn't be looking at. Uh, Man, I think this this has so many implications on on different things. But we, sh- I shouldn't be looking at what Briar is doing, right? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. uh, I'm if I'm comparing myself to Briar, I can I can I might be able to make myself better than Briar. I don't know about that. All right, but but, <laughs> but uh, if I'm looking at you, that means mm-hmm. I'm not looking at Jesus. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I'm supposed to keep looking for you know, like you said, keep yeah. your eye on the prize. I'm not comparing myself to someone else because mm. that's not who I'm supposed to compare myself to. We yeah. talked a little bit about this in the high school about oh, yeah. our moral standard comes mm. from God. It can't come from men yeah. because, you know, I mean, do you like pineapple on pizza? I hate it. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't like it either, right? Yeah. But there's some people who think that's okay, yeah. right? Um, we pray for them. But, but we have, <laughs> you know, there's, there's more serious things that we, that we may have differences in. Mm-hmm. Um, and so... I think it's important for us to recognize that I can't compare myself to another person yeah. because mm-hmm. they don't they don't have the moral standard that I'm supposed to oh, yeah. be following. It's it's Jesus. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then yeah. So your your last one. My last right? point um, is simply just live with the characteristics of Jesus, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, Jesus obviously had all the characteristics of the fr- of the fruits of the spirit: um, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gen- uh, uh, and self control. Um, and so, I mean, for me, like, I just feel, did I, did I like, skip one? I don't think I, I think one. you I were about down. to, you were about, about to say gentleness. You were about to say gentleness, but you didn't. See, but this, I, was, I think this is what happened when I preached about it, like, a couple months ago, too, <laughs> was that was the one that I skipped out every time. So love, joy, Ryan's peace, patience, gentle. kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There we go. See, I said them all. I know them. God, loves, God still loves me. But um, Jesus, like, if you look at Jesus' life, um, he was faced with all the temptations, like every area of sin, right? Uh, less of the flesh, uh, less of the eyes, and the pride of life, right? Mm-hmm. Like all three areas of sins, Jesus was faced with all those temptations, mm-hmm. and yet he was still able to stay perfect. Now, I mean, the counter argument that a middle schooler said to me last night was like, well, Jesus was the son of God, right? <laughs> but at the end of the day, he still lived a earthly experience yeah, for us to, try, he's still to strive he's still to human. follow. Yeah, he's still human. And so, I mean, that's a big... I mean, we're, we won't get into this, but that is yeah. a big topic of like, oh, yeah. you know, did did Jesus have the ability to sin? Yeah. We're not going to get yeah, we're not gonna, We're right. not going there. We're, we're not going to hop into that. My brain is probably <laughs> equivalent to a middle school brain, so that'll be a long <laughs> conversation if we keep talking about that. But, um, but yeah, so I mean, as far as like living with the characteristics of Jesus... Um, like Jesus, all of the words he said, even some of the harsh words he said, they all mm. had uh, intention with love, though, to set people straight and set people on the path that they needed to be on. Um, when he looked at the Pharisees, like he wasn't calling the Pharisees out and just saying, hey, I hate you. Like he didn't say that. He straight up called them out and saying, hey, you're following these laws, not because you love Jesus or not because you love God, but because you're just following them because that's what you've been told. And well, so when like he calls a, them a out. self-righteousness, yeah. right? I mean, he he called them out and was pretty harsh with oh, them. Oh, yeah. Uh, but it was with intention, right? Yeah. Uh, like he, he used purpose. And so I feel like that's something that we need to take as Christians and especially like if we start at a young age with the middle school 
schoolers. Um, for me, I would have loved to have somebody look at me whenever I was in middle school. I was in and out of church, not really paying attention a whole lot. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody just would have sat me down and simply looked at me and said, hey, your character matters. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not about what everybody else is doing, like what you're saying. I'm not going to look at you and be like, oh, what's Elijah doing? Because I need to be looking at Jesus. Mm -hmm. If somebody would have sat me down and said that to me, I can't imagine where my spiritual growth would finally be to this day, right? Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's still going to be hardships in your life and everything, but if you have that character... Um, the, if you use these characteristics from the Bible, the foundation of your character will stay firm in mm -hmm. Jesus, right? Um, but the longer you go without those characteristics, the harder it is to gain those characteristics. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think it's so good to be teaching the middle schoolers about this is because, I mean, you're basically laying a foundation for the rest of your life, right? Yeah. Like kind of trying to teach them while they're still young, right? It's hard to change somebody's character whenever they're 50, 60 years old. But if you can get them right now while they're between the ages of, 11 and 14, right? Well, yeah, this I is like, like and, a good way to and I mean, this is this is the the series you're going through, right? Yeah. It's the uh, the cheat codes yeah. of life. You, yeah. you get this from God's word, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so, yeah, you find your characteristic, you can find your the good character from God's word. Yeah. Well, what, so last question, you know, what mm -hmm. what is the biggest thing you want middle schoolers to take away from uh, this week's teaching? Yeah, I mean, I would just simply say it is all the, ma the, the two questions I left them with last night were, who do you want to be, and is the mm -hmm. way that you're living right now helping you get there? Um, and it's simple. Like, we all sit here and we proclaim to be a Christian, and my, my statement that I've just been saying over and over that I'm trying to speak over them right now is that I no longer want us to live as a Christian by statement, but I want us to live as a Christian by action. Mm -hmm. Is that we're not just going to sit here and do these things, but what are we going to do to get us where we want to be, right? Mm -hmm. Like, to actually show people that we love Jesus, to show people that we follow God's Word. Um, and so, I mean, my biggest thing that I want them to walk away from this is simply when it comes to your character, laying that foundation now can set you for the rest of your life. And so that's why it's important to watch not only what you say, but how you say things and mm -hmm. what you do even. Um, and so really just to walk away from this. And I mean, my final point, like live with the characteristics of Jesus, just mm -hmm. walk away knowing that Jesus gave us a guide, right? Like, I mean, he walked through life and had all those temptations that we are facing, and he showed us what to do when those temptations come towards us. And so, um, obviously, there's a lot of sins in our life that, like, we may not read exactly that Jesus did, right? I mean, Jesus didn't have a smartphone and have to worry <laughs> about, like, influencers of social media and things yeah. like that, but... Um, still Jesus gives us an idea of how to deal with those things. And so simply just walking away from this of using the wisdom of God's Word. Yeah. Uh, we talked about wisdom last week. I, I told him yesterday, like, walk away from today knowing that your character can be a foundation for the rest of your life if you start building that on God's wisdom right now. And so, yeah, that was basically my main takeaway that I wanted them to walk away cool. with yesterday. Awesome. Well, yep. thank you, Briar. That yeah. was great. Yeah. And... Uh, we guys will we'll, we'll see you guys next week. Yep. See ya.